Gate drops are now five and under sprockets. Did you hear me, ladies and gentlemen? Five and under. I couldn't even ride a bike at that age. And look at him get around. All right, we've got Ryder Brooks. He's out and about as he makes his way to that first berm. Back there in that second position there. I'll pick up some numbers. They get through. Gives me a chance to go over and have a look. And coming through nice and quickly there, we got Maxi. And back we also got Levi Davies as well. But look at our front runner, Ryder Brooks. Remember that name, ladies and gentlemen. It won't be too far away, and he's going to be leading the field in the real classes, the big boy classes. Oh, we've got a bit of a push here for that second place rider, and there's a bit of a drag race, and that's between Max and Levi. And at this stage, it looks like Max has got it, but you don't know what Levi's about to do. Back in the beyond, also, we have Diesel Pets as well, and our final rider there in Zach, but well done, rider. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for the Sprockets. The future looks bright in Bermex. Unlike our officials up here, let me tell you, we've got Zayden, Jude, Ryan, Lucas, Kiva, Bodie, Max and Matthew making their way down the second straight. Have a look at them all side by side. Down the second straight into the big trebles as they make their way into turn two. Bit of white line fever there by one of them. In and out of turn two. Let's pick him up. The big 37 on the plate of Ryan Hall. Into the last corner he goes, oh, fair bump play on, well the 229 of Murray, in and out of the last corner they go now, and that's the way it finishes, Hall, Murray and a few others. Okay, we're looking for our 15 boys riders, Rory McNamara and Ethan Dale, if you can please make your way down to the presentation area please, Rory McNamara and Ethan Dale from 15 boys. Okay, we're back to the racing, seven Sprockies on the track. I reckon this will be Ashcroft out in front, the 80 machine. You know, on the outside of him, that looks like it could be uh, Julian Thomas is in there as well. We've got Bentley Duffy in there, Oliver and Davy Gill, the 251, but it's still out in front from Tea Tree Gully. It's the 80 machine of Aiden Ashcroft. It's a 189 in there for the two spot on the outside. That's going to be young Oliver. Then we pick up the 251, so they'll be your top three. It's going to be Gilly in there. So it's Ashcroft, Gill for three, and Oliver still in there for your two position. Then we go about the 424 of Aiden Thomas. Duffy's in the action as well, and Tate Julian. But the win will go to the 80 machine, Aiden Ashcroft. All right, uh, out and about they go, which is our seven sprockets coming out, looking nice and strong. Bo Doyle from New South Wales. Oh, and he's, as I've said that, his feet have fallen off the pedals, ladies and gentlemen. But he's got himself back up and riding. I tell you what, watch this young lad. We'll see if he can come back through. Oh, it's amazing little riding there. Back there in that first spot, though, that's leading us all the way through is Lockie Shafter from Victoria. But here he comes again. Flying through is Bo Doyle. Back there in that third position there, we have uh, Brown, I think we may have it, and the others to follow suit, but a great little ride there from our Sevens Boys Sprockets. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the 125. Big crash down the first straight. Seven Sprockets out and about in the track they go. Darcy Chase, Miles, Tyler, and Eli and Jack in there as well as they start to make their way down that second straight already. Have a look at them side by side. Who said the sprockets don't raise? That'll be Chase out in front as the rest of them go. One of them goes sideways, tries to do a bit of a speedway action, a one-footer. Bit of style on the dials as they make their way down the third straight now. It's all Chase out in front doing a good job. Here comes a 325 making a red hog uh, move out of Woods. In and out of the final corner, but that'll be Chase. Then we got Woods and we got a few others will let the transponders sort the rest. Okay, seven sprocket girls as the gate slaps down. The 124, Eva Cully in this one. Crampton, Piergross and Lacey Gray, the 113, as they work their way into this triple. But it looks like it's the 87 machine who's going to get the whole shot. That's going to be young Gracie Piergross from Victoria as they work their way into the first turn. In there for the two, looks like it's the 113 of Lacey Gray. Then we go back to the 124 of Cully. And it's a 40 machine from South Australia. Isabella Crampton as our two front runners head over our triple and into this big second turn. And the race is on for that number one position but it's around the outside, around the outside that looks like it's the 80 machine of Pierre Gross so she's going to hold on to that number one spot from the 113, Lacey Gray then we go back to the 124 and the 40 having a great ding dong battle there of Cully and Crampton but as our front runner heads down that final straightaway it is all the 87 machine of Charlie Pierre Gross uh, Gracie Pierre Gross and what a race that was, 7 Sprocket Girls